Topics and Welcome to Subjective Thoughts. And our manga for today is Akira Volume 6 by Katsuhiro Otomo, published by Dark Horse Manga. Now there is killing, violence, blood, death, destruction, guns, shooting, weapons, and uh, ah, more destruction in this one. So if you are in any way squeamish, you have been warned. Also, spoilers. All right, here is the team. And let's start. I started this two days ago. Um, when uh, the middle lady died, I read a little bit. And then yesterday, I just... I read the whole thing. I just couldn't put it down. I just wanted to see how it was going to end. And holy shit, it was amazing. Um, okay, so in the in the fifth manga, uh, it ended with Canada and uh, everyone essentially preparing to go to Tetsuo and Akira. And then uh, in this one... Uh, Every, all, all the characters have gathered up together once again. We've got the Canada and Katsuki uh, with their uh, people all going to kill Tetsuo, Kai, with uh, the getting power from the other two children, and Lady Mayoko as well, going to fight uh, Tetsuo because he's not, uh, he's not at all balanced. Uh, he's completely out of balance. And so, what goes on through half of the manga, essentially, uh, fighting, killing, the, the douchebag that's been running the whole show with the Lord Akira and everything gets killed. Fucking deserved it, the bastard. Um, uh, <laughs> there's so much death, holy shit. Uh, the American agent that was sent, also, Tetsuo kills him. And that bastard, um, the one that ran the show, the douchebag, he killed uh, Kayuri. She ran towards him and said, you gotta help Lord Tetsuo, and there's, like, they went to kill him. Because all he's like, ah, oh, shit, Tetsuo's no longer useful to me. And she starts running to warn Tetsuo, and he just fucking shot her. Poor, <laughs> poor girl. Ugh. A poor, poor girl. So yeah, then uh, Canada finally reaches Tetsuo, they start fighting, then the Americans start throwing missiles. That admiral has lost his shit after see, um, seeing Tetsuo in action. He just, sh they get control of the satellite soul, and they start just shooting down. They, they don't give a shit, he's ready to flatten the whole of Neo Tokyo just to kill Tetsuo. He doesn't care that he's gonna kill all the other people. We have um we have all the um Lady Mayoko and the other two children, Matsuro and um and Kayuki, I, I I think. I I'm probably butchering the names, sorry. You know, combining their powers in order to give Kai the powers. And, and I was wrong. Uh, she's fighting Tetsuo face to face. I thought she would just sit there with them and fight in her mind. But no, that was just a that was just a test the last time. So yeah, then everyone's uh, fighting. People are getting killed. Soldiers are getting killed. It's it's all a uh, big mayhem. And Tetsuo is losing control of himself, but because of that American agent, he threw some kind of biological weapon at him that seemed to have uh, allowed Tetsuo to get control of his powers again. Which made it a problem for Kai, because now he wasn't as unstable and she couldn't fight him. So anyway, halfway through, it, it all comes to... Um, a, a Tetsuo... Uh, not Tetsuo. Tetsuo gets losing his shit... Uh, in, Canada finds Akira again, and he it takes him. He tells Katsuki, "Okay, take Akira. I'm gonna start fighting Tetsuo." In, in, in the middle part, Akira starts leading them toward Tetsuo. Tetsuo, after um, oh, the killing and destruction, has taken Kayuri's body back to where Akira's uh, cryo chamber was. 
and they all go there. Akira turns on the uh, the elevator. He's he's uh, leading them to Tetsuo. So we got Canada, Chiyoko, who he meets along the way, and Joker. Um, I think he's sort of someone from another game that uh, Canada knows. So they all follow Akira. Um, it, it Kai also goes uh, where Tetsuo is as well. She starts fighting him before the others arrive in there. So they all arrive to the chamber, and meanwhile, the um, it, there's a lot of destruction all around. There's still the lasers, but um, Tetsuo has destroyed the lasers. He destroyed. He made Soul fall down, fall down on the Admiral's ship. Uh, somehow the scientists survived that. The one scientist that's in this, uh, that they sent to the city is still there. The one that was in the hospital, unfortunately, died because that wing has been destroyed. Yeah, the destruction death throughout the entirety of the manga was amazing. Right, so they're all down there. Kai is trying to fight uh, Tetsuo. He's again losing control of his form and of himself. She goes deeper into the cryo chamber where she sees uh, Kaiori's body. Just as Tetsuo is about to reach her, um, uh, Kaneda arrives with the others and he yells at uh, Tetsuo. Tetsuo's like, Kaneda, help me. And he grabs onto Kaneda and sucks him inside of him. Joker starts shooting him. They, they start backing away. They're like, shit, what do we do? Chiyoko tells um, Ryu joins them as well, the, the guy that used to work for the underground with uh, Chiyoko and Kai. She gives him a gun, tells him, take Akira away from here, because Akira is giving, starting to be on the same frequency with uh, Tetsuo, and he's giving him power. They have to separate them. He starts taking him up the, up the elevator while they're uh, fighting, but they it's it's not helping it he continues uh, uh akira continues to do it and uh ryu loses his cool as no to do he's like stop or i'm gonna shoot you and then something falls and he, he does shoot him shoots akira like right maybe maybe he got his he's got his shoulder and then things start falling and uh back at the temple uh, Masaru and Kayuki are like, oh no, Akira, we have to go to him. So Lady Mayoko has some of her monks trained, the ones that also have the gift. Not as strong as the children, but still. Because after that, uh, Tetsuo, uh, after losing his shit some more, is going to them. Because he, he was focused on uh, Akira, but since Akira is down, he's now focused on Mayoko and the others. So Mayoko is going to fight uh, him while Masaro and Kayuki go to Akira. So that was that was an epic fight between Lady Mayoko and, uh, and Tetsuo. So yeah, she goes with her monks. Masaro and Kayoki use their power to teleport to where Akira is. Uh, Kayuki with the remaining monks uh, fight uh, fight Tetsuo as much as they can. Uh, Kai appears there as well, but uh, they can't really do much. Uh, Lady uh, Mayoki uh, dies, unfortunately. She uses all her power she can. Because of all this, there's more destruction, and also the Americans are throwing missiles at them as this is happening. Those poor bastards down there. Yeah, the, the, the fighting continues. Uh, um, Akira, not Akira, uh, Tetsuo is starting to, he has the same effect uh, that Akira has, he, he starts to, the, an explosion starting to come out of him, just like Akira does, they're like, ah oh, shit, and before that Kai's like, wait, no, uh, uh, Kaneda is still in there. Back at the, uh, where the cryo chamber is, Kaioki and, um, Kayuki, yeah, Kayuki and Masaru reach Akira. They hold hands, and it looks like Akira has uh, gone back to being himself. And because of the power so great, he lost his personality, he lost himself. 
the same thing that currently happened to Tetsuo. He lost his e his ego. He lost himself. Now the power is just going out, and see Akira finally is able to hear and see Masaru and Kayoki, and suddenly it looks like all the other children appearing. Ryu is dead, by the way. He's lying there. As I, as I read that part, I'm like, where's Ryu? Did, did he make it? Is he dead under there? Yeah, he's dead. Well, he, he did not have a happy ending. Well, um, things are things are bad. Uh, they're like, oh shit, we got the explosion. What do we do with uh, with Tetsu and everything? Kai is flying above there. She's like, oh, well, what do I do? And then she sees uh, the three children flying towards uh, Tetsuo. So it's Akira, Matsuro, and uh, Kayuki. Well, I guess technically they're old people at this point. But they're still in bodies of children. Well, uh, Akira still looks young, though. Right, they fly over there, and then um, Akira starts another explosion. What he's doing is absorbing Tetsuo into him to stop all of this. Kai goes in there and then we see uh, memories, Tetsuo's memories. And Lady Mayoko's voice is suddenly explaining this is like, you know, what happens, you see a, uh, your life flash before your eyes kind of thing. And this is what happened, we see memories of Tetsuo as a child, how his father left, how... He was raised by a woman that wasn't his mother, and he didn't have uh, friends, really. And then we see him uh, meet Canada, and Canada's in there, too. He sees all of this stuff as well. And also Canada sees uh, Akira's memories. How he was brought to the, to the experiments, and, you know, how these children either became invalids or lost their minds after. And most of them died. And, uh, and, uh, it, Lady Mayoko explained that this was all evolution. That, uh, Kira was trying to progress evolution. And, uh, Tetsuo's like, wait, but isn't this something said and it can't be, uh, nothing can happen to it? And, and she's like, the, no. And, uh, ooh, that was quite the ride. And then, uh, Canada sees, uh, sees Tetsuo. This is the day they met on the playground and everything. And uh, the Kai is there. She's trying to. She's like Ted uh, Canada. You have to hold on to yourself, or else you'll be sucked into uh, Kira as well. And uh, it looks like he almost will, but Kai uh, Kai's fighting, and she keeps going till she gets to him. And he's like uh, Canada. For all those that need you, you have to come back. And uh, he, he gets a hold of himself, uh, he grabs her hand, and uh, oh, the explosion happens, again, there's a lot of destructions, a lot of destruction, all those that manage to survive start crawling out, there's water everywhere, uh, Kaneda and Kai are alright, oh, and the, the guy I said, I said the general, he's a, he's a colonel, he's a colonel, he's also still alive. Uh, you see Chiyoko and Joker uh, get out of the... They went through the sewer to get out of the cryo chamber. They're also still alive. That pro that uh, professor... Scientist, sorry, they sent in. He's also alive. He's helping some, some kids he's with. And, they, they, and that's it. Akira and Tetsuo are gone. Everyone's gone. And uh, so, uh, this, after that, you see the... Uh, this is, Massive fucking explosion. After that, you see the Americans or the, some national aid coming with medicine and food. And everyone's coming out and they're like, give us information on what happened here, if you can. And then, um, and then they take uh, tanks and start going deeper into the city. Well, what, what's left of the city, yeah? And uh, suddenly a uh, rocket's flying towards the tank. And like, what the fuck is that? Well, and then we see uh, Chiyoko shot that rocket at them. And then suddenly Kaneda arrives with the Joker, and you see everyone like from the buildings looking. And uh, they're like, okay, so this is Neo Tokyo. 
We didn't invite you here. Get fuck out of our city. This is a sovereign nation. And, then, and they all have, like, guns. And uh, then someone runs up and paints an A on the uh, on one of the tanks. And uh, Canada's like, okay, thanks for the medication, the food, we'll keep that. Now fuck out of here, you weren't invited. And it looks like there might be a fight, but the Americans just, just leave. They're, like, shocked. And then Kai arrives on a motorcycle, and uh, Canada hops on it. She's behind him, and he says... We all have Akira inside of us. And so they start um, driving away. And the Americans are going. You see, ah, you see before that, the scientists, uh, they're going around looking for their uh, friend. And they all, uh, they all go there. And then they find him. And they're all so happy. That was a nice touching moment. And they're also looking. They're like, we all, ha we all still have Akira within us. And so, uh, all of the, since Canada with his friends, once again, the ones that are left are all, uh, biking inside, uh, near Tokyo. And he sees, uh, one of their friends that was, uh, killed off, uh, in the first manga by Akira. Uh, sorry, not by Akira, by Tetsuo. Uh, he sees him, uh, riding next to him, and, uh, from the other side, he sees Tetsuo. And that's it. They're all riding off. And that is where uh, the manga ends. Uh, holy shit. Alright, for the last time now, the art. Uh, shit, fell. Always. Wow, oh, it's a bloody big manga, to be fair. It's hard to... Uh, see, that's uh, the Americans there. All the destruction. Look at that. There's that asshole I keep mentioning. And honestly, if, he, if they didn't use Akira, and, um, you know, because actually he was just using it to gain power, basically. Akira's, you know, pretty... Oh, I'll show you the, the first few pages. They have some color to them. Um, yeah, no one's dead here yet. Look at that. So that's how it would have looked colored. A lot of mangas do this, they have the first few pages. Uh, that, that's the that American agent I was talking about. See the this guy? The one with the cape. Well, sort of a cape, basically. And um, well, I gotta show you a bit. I will show the whole thing, but I, I gotta show you how... Look at what happens to Tetsuo. He turns into this giant fucking mutated baby. Almost. It's quite scary, actually. <laughs> and sometimes he looks at them and it's like, ugh, Jesus. And there's, uh, there's Kai. Trying to fight, that's Joker, by the way. There's Kai, you see, trying to fight him. So, yeah, oh, um, what else? Uh, yeah, I don't want to show too much, but, oh, yeah, there's the, just the laser destruction. Just look at that. This is the Admiral, by the way. He's fucking nuts. I mean, I get it after seeing such a thing, but still. Like, he doesn't give a shit that he's gonna kill off a lot of people. Cause there's still a lot of innocent people in Neo Tokyo, and he just doesn't give two shits, essentially. But yeah, so this... Wow, this, this has been one fucking epic story. What an ending, holy shit. Uh, didn't end how I expected to. I know there's the, uh, a the animated movie, which I still want to watch. And I wonder if the ending is the same there or not. Or if they changed it up, because there's a lot of material here. And then may maybe they did. Because I, I just, I've seen over the years some clips from the movie of what happens there. And uh, reading this, I, I have a feeling they have changed a couple of things. Perhaps. But anyway, whenever I get to watch it, I'll see. But yeah, this this has been a fucking epic ending. I loved it. And it's also a bit sad, you know, about uh, about Tetsuo and... Uh, but yeah, it, it is sad for them. You know, at the end of the day, they're just... Uh, oh, uh, I forgot. Uh, when they're... As they're biking, they see... Uh, you know, riding, they, they see the colon, though. 
He's, uh, he, he made it out, though. I think his poor legs are fucked up now. But yeah, he's, he's, he's alive after all that. Oh, I don't know what happened to the scientist that was helping him. I wonder whatever, what happened to him. If he made it out alive or not. Hmm, interesting. But yes. It's tragic, really. You know, if Akira wasn't experimented on, he would have been a normal little boy. All those kids would have been. In a way. Although I wonder how strong their powers were if they would have uh, hindered them in life. If they still would have needed, you know, some medication. As that's the only thing that really uh, helped them regulate the powers. It was the medication. Also, when they go to Akira, the, the two children, you see the, the third kid that was uh, unfortunately murdered in the... Uh, and the first, uh, no, it was a, it was, I think it was the second manga. Eh, so poor, uh, because T Takeshi, I think his name was, I remembered now. That oh, was, that was sad. But yeah, it's, it's tragic with them, really. Maybe their lives would have been different, but man, what an ending. I, I did wonder, like, how would they, you know, I started reading, how would they, what would they do even? No weapon could can stop Tetsuo. The laser didn't help. The soul laser satellite. So I was like, who's going to defeat him? And yeah, essentially Akira was the only one that could. He was the only one as uh, strong as Tetsuo. So I guess in the end, that really logically would have been the only way to solve this. And he just absorbed uh, Tetsuo and they both disappeared. In the end, uh, hopefully they all found peace too. Well, that's it. Well, and Kai also has these powers that I take it she probably doesn't have them on the level Tetsuo does, nor Akira. So, hopefully that's it. Hopefully, the, the, now the old Tokyo will be able to rebuild again. That will probably take a long time. It's a lot more destroyed than that first time Akira lost it. But, yeah. So, this was the story of Akira. It, it, it was amazing. I am totally going to reread this again in the future. This is just one hell of an epic story. All right, folks, so that is it. Um, let me know if you've ever read Akira or the, watched the animated movie, and what did you think? Oh, uh, I forgot to say, I, I really like this uh, cover. The orange, and you see Kai and uh, Kaneda and Katsuki. That's cool. So, yeah, um... Yeah, that's it. Now remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. Bye! <laughs>